she hasn't got until the commitment. No, no. no. I'm trying to remember. And you know the zoning laws have changed so much. That's just it. Oh, Would really? You? Would you oh. have trouble? It used to be like, whatever. You could put the house on the floor. Now it's 60 feet. 60 feet what? Frontage. 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 You have to have a 6,000 6, square foot <coughs> lot minimum. Don't they grandfather you in for a lot that's pre existing? You have to go for a variance. Someone trying to pass a law about cats. If you hit cats, you have a duty to find the owner and oh, really? get out. And I thought that was already. Well, cats should be as important as dogs, shouldn't they? Well, yeah. No. <laughs> God, no. Well, <laughs> there are more cat owners than there are dog owners. There, there, are, are, there, are, there, there are no cat leash laws. That's like the difference between male and female. Yeah. What? what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> You should report if you hit a man, but not a man. What if it's a male cat? Yeah, right. Then it's okay. Yeah. There isn't such thing. Forget them female cats. There's no such thing as a male cat? Yeah. All cats are females and all dogs are males. I never knew that. Is women here species? You know, I never knew that. Everybody, when they see a dog, it's like, oh, what's his name? Yeah. Or you see a cat, what's her name? Yeah. That's true. And you don't want to really get. Well, what is it? <laughs> Especially the furry ones. They're hard to discreetly yeah. tell. Yeah. This is a quick you change of to, subject. Now, do you have to, when you hit a dog, you have to find its owner? To track down its owner? You're supposed that to call the police. Tell them what, where you hit it, I think. I thought that was the case with cats. Yes, I, just, I just said leash lock. Let's go have a goldfish game. You too? Oh, good. And how you need to find that animal. Oh, oh I see. Cute. Yeah, and I want to go in the Hey, that didn't work. Snap, snap. I'm trying to date this activity here for posterity. Yeah. Well, what do you think that uh, activity happened on that fireplace? Well, yeah. well. He had nothing to do, so. Round about. <laughs> hey, they had flashlights back then. Son of a gun. Hey, he broke one drill. And electricity. He's going to try it again. See how many drills he can break. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. So, even though they don't charge you that way. It's a warm, cozy fire. Mm. I'm warm doing it. So they're protected from the sun, but yet sometimes they get cold. And others are just sort of hanging on at this, by these rocks, this cliff. And it just happens to be a matter of where your blade of grass is. And then along comes this deer and just randomly steps. And you might be one of those. Oh, it's just a random thing. It has nothing to do with the design. Nothing to do with you're a bad person, therefore you're going to learn a lesson, or you're a good person, therefore you know it's suffering, it has nothing to do with that. Happy New Year. I need a thumb. I need a thumbprint. Are you really who you say you are? Are we who we are? Yes. All right. All right. Hello, Lee. I need your thumbprint. <laughs> all right, all right, you're authorized. I need your ass print. Bend over. Your thumbprint is all worn off. All right. Your print. Your print. Thumbprint. Yeah. I photocopied no, my rear on the uh, cotton machine at work the other day. Did you? I'll give you that. Oh, that's, that's not what it's cracked up to be, is it? Take a nice close-up of the pretty flowers. I did. Oh, They're wonderful. <laughs> They're even better in the dining room.
understands each other. They love each other very much. But in the beginning, she had a back problem, and she, she went from a healthy person to all of a sudden you know, paralyzed from the waist down. And, and she's the toughest person I've ever met in my life. I mean, she's a neat lady. And, and joined us is Ken Love, who is a love. He really is. He's one of the stalwarts of the Unitarian Church. And then following Ken comes in Holly Bell, who's the pastor of the Unitarian Church. Minister. Whatever she is. <laughs> and we had one of the most wonderful conversations. I mean, this woman is absolutely neat, Miss Holly Bell. Uh, She's constantly trying to convert you. She's always, she's always <laughs> at me, Mike, you've got to join my church. I said, you know, Holly, You're a natural, I, Mike. I do not like organized religion. She said, we're neither organized nor religion. Uh, can you hand me your, um, Andrew? Okay. Yes. yes. Oh, thank you. Hand me your Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Lights, lights. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday to you. No tears. <laughs> she was fine until you said that. <laughs> no, she wasn't. I saw that coming. I can't cry. She's alive. Yeah. Say, make yeah. a wish, Grandma. Yeah. We, we, we need to win. No, that's not It's a good thing. Woo! Yeah. That's your job. It's your profession. Thank you, everybody. Now, Christmas. I have a shoot. Thank you. You're responsible. Like, I'd like to thank this lady. Wow. Let's get it. Thank you very much. You're responsible for this brood, Mother. So you get all the blame. <laughs> and you're being held responsible, right? Whether I did it or not. <laughs> Ooh, Thank my you, my birthday man. card, which I can find, says you've been there through everything, through thick and thin, and you turn inside and it says it's all your fault. <laughs> and I couldn't find it. <laughs> I mean, that's right, when you told me. <laughs> but you're still going to get it next year. Yeah, anyway. right. <laughs> This is a Snow Queen cake. Oh. oh. Hey, let's grind more cutting. Oh. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. That's the name of it. I think <laughs> that's why I bought it. Not for what, what it tastes like inside. <laughs> now, Mother, why are you? What are your tears for? Same reason mine are. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Now, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> we want the sentiment. She had an onion in her sandwich. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I suppose it's tears and happiness. I'm going to let my kids. Yep. We don't ski. I'm no, just thinking the same thing. I'm just thinking the same thing. And that you're all willing to be here. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Well, most of us are willing oh. to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and I love you all, dear. We love you too, Mom. Love you. Yeah. Well, you have to say it to Grammy. Yeah, why don't you say it to Grammy? Okay, now, shall we eat the cake? Now, right, did you see the place? card that we gave you? Uh, it was rather profane. I did. She looks like the lady in Titanic. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Which one? She was 101 the years old. She looks great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> get the frosting so smooth. How do they? Like I always wonder that when I'm frosting a cake. It always looks like it's in that server there. I actually like that cake. It's not dessert. It's like cream soda. Bridget, what do you say? Snow Queen. 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 Bridget, what is the Snow Queen? Can you keep going in one direction? Then it has to be long enough. That's well the right size. Right on the top there. Right on the top there. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday.